Now let's take a look at group policy modeling. Group policy modeling is closely related to group policy results and there is actually a separate video on this group policy results wizard but now let's turn our attention to the modeling wizard. Whereas the results wizard gave us the results of what's currently on a user, this modeling wizard goes a step further and does something really cool. Let's right click on it and choose group policy modeling wizard and notice this will let me simulate a policy deployment for planning and testing purposes. This is a what if wizard. The results policy shows me what happened to a certain user when they logged on. I can use this to determine what would happen to that user if they were in a different OU. How cool is that? So the first step here, notice it's saying I have to specify a domain controller to perform for using the simulation. I will just use mine or any available. Then Notice the user and computer selection. I can view simulated policies for a selected user. And so I will say for a user, and we'll just go out and do a find, and we'll do Frank R. Jones, and we'll click OK there. And we can do computer information if we would like. Then I'll hit Next, and it says what site? Well, let's just let's do this site. And no, notice if I had two sites, I could run it in the other site and it would run it as if that user was in a different site than he is right now. So I'll just use that site. Now notice something. Enter the new network locations. Right now, he is in the east. Well, let's just browse here and let's say, well, you know what? Let's just see. What if he was in that sales OU organizational unit? And then we hit next. And notice that we're going to run this as if this particular user is in all these locations. Okay, and we will click Add. Now, what if he's a member of a different group? We can say, well, you know what? What if he was actually a member of uh, the DNS admins group? How would that change things? So we'll hit Next, and we will just run WMI filters. Okay, we'll just run all linked filters. And there's a summary of our selections. And we run Next, and now it's going to treat the Frank Jones user account as if it were members of those sites, of those organizational units, and members of those groups. And notice we got the very same type results we got before, what group policy objects got applied, none got applied there, and on computer configuration, nothing got applied, or no data was available. Not sure what that's about. So anyway, but you notice here that we can run this to show us what would happen to a user if we move them somewhere else? Now that's powerful because I don't have to move them and break things and then have to go back and try to undo things. This will show me this is kind of a what if. What if, if I put this guy over there, what's it going to do to him? So that's the group policy modeling. So modeling says you can run a test. And notice it saved those results. But modeling says you can run a test, kind of a what if, and group policy results says what is. So that's a quick look at group policy modeling. Go play with this thing, but especially remember on the exam that you can use this to determine what's going to be changed in a particular user's environment by running the group policy modeling wizard.